Hello Scorpios. We're going to take a look at your mid-June love story. I'm just going to lay out a line of cards and read them as a storyline. Fair warning, I do consider things that are not um, directly directly our romantic life as influencing our romantic life. So if that comes up, then I will mention it. First card out, we have the Page of Cups. So this is some beautiful energy to start with. Page of Cups and Six of Cups. So this is kind of this sounds romantic. Wanting to go back to a simpler time and place. It sounds like the beginning of a, a romantic movie where you can see a shoreline of like a with cliffs and the waves bashing against it and two people approaching from opposite sides that know each other because it's the Six of Cups and the woman's wearing a dress and her hair is flowing and the man is is wearing kind of, again, it's a movie, right? So rugged, rugged kind of attire, but really not rugged enough to be realistic, you know, still managing to look dashing, and they're approaching themselves along the cliff while the waves crash below them. It's, um, it's definitely wanting to approach Somebody, someone, perhaps someone from the past, but even if it's not someone from the past, it's in a very innocent, romantic, friendly, actually, friendly way. I mean, it's, it's like if you were the little child here who's actually got a hold of the cup, Sorry, a little bit too close. My camera probably won't focus, but... And you're sniffing or you're offering this gift here, but your eyes over the gift are maybe not as innocent as the gesture. But you're wanting to make a romantic gesture, a simple romantic gesture. Now, the Page of Cups is sometimes a card of apology, and I don't know if there will be an apology here, but you could be approaching somebody for which you've, you kind of have water under the bridge. You know, you've, you've been through some stuff before um, and haven't seen them for a while, potentially. and are re-approaching them. But here we have the Six of Pentacles. That's been coming up a lot in the readings. And the Page of Wands now. So there's a socioeconomic difference depicted in the Six of the Six of Pentacles. I often don't like it to show up in love readings because it suggests that there might be an alternative mo alter ulterior motive of wanting somebody to pay for something. On the other hand, it could be an act of generosity, and we do have an act of generosity also, the gift giving there, but it's kind of the giving of something that's already freely available around you, but um, yeah. I'll let you guys decide how that plays out in your own situation, but there's a potential red flag there. I'm just going to say that. And, and to not, I'm going to say this also, to not be impressed by small gestures, okay? Because this man is barely giving of himself to these people who are in a lot of need, right? So don't be impressed 
by a small gesture. And this could very well be, like I said, it's like taking, it's like picking flowers while well, they're free to you around you, you know, so you, there isn't a lot invested in this gesture, which is great for kids. Once you get older, it's still sweet, but it doesn't, you know, it shouldn't mean more than it means, right? It's a sweet gesture. Um... So then we have, I feel like, the Knight of Wands is kind of wanting to move things forward in a hot way. Wands is heat. And then we have the Devil card. So, yeah, oh, I just, I love the way this started. I love that the whole romantic nature of it, maybe because I'm a Cancer, and and now it's taking a turn, unless this is somebody different. But if it's the same person, they're like going to turn around and want to make it sexual and be possessive of, of you way, way before it's warranted. Or maybe the whole approach is in order to return to this situation if this is something that you had in the past. Um, so maybe you had, because the devil sometimes is, you know, very passionate, physically passionate attachment. And so maybe this person is coming towards you with a romantic gesture, but their real motive, or I mean, this could be you doing this, but the real motive is wanting to return to that really physical, physically bonded, physically passionate energy. So, you know, whatever floats your boat, Scorpios, you know, if that appeals to you, um, and again, if there was an apology needed for something so that you could return to this very passionate relationship, then, then I could see that. I still don't like this energy here, though. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords. Kind of sneaky energy. Actually, I see what this, this is, um, this is like somebody proposing, you know, some yowza yowza kind of activity, come into my, you know, my sexy play space here, and this is somebody bringing up the, some stuff, again, from the past, and saying, excuse me, and laying out these swords. I've got some more swords back here that I haven't brought with me. <laughs> but there's this, and then there's this, and then there's this. And so it's somebody actually bringing some rational, I'm going to say complaints, to the situation. So somebody's hot and heavy, and somebody cools the whole situation with rational thought. It's like, I'm not going there right now until we deal with this. Until we deal with the Seven of Swords. Could it be that this person actually did something wrong in the past? It could be, and that this needs to be resolved first. But then that is followed by temperance, which means that, well, it can mean a couple of things. It could mean that you have a weakness for this person's chemistry, and the healing might occur too soon, but temperance is a healing kind of energy, so um, and, and it, but it is chemistry, you know, it's, it's combining two things. Let's see what, what comes next, positive or negative, negative, <laughs> ten of swords. Um, 
because what I was starting to get was somebody who like knows your weakness and was trying to say yes we can deal with that but shouldn't we you know do the romantic stuff that's very healing too and you know yeah just trying to work the situation so that they don't have to face the swords it's like yes that did occur but you know but I said I'm sorry or I'm being romantic now or we have this wonderful physical connection you know let's it's like let's have sex and then we'll talk about the issues that seems to be what temperance is about you know let's get hot and heavy and then we'll talk about the issues or let's talk about the issues in bed I know that I know that if I can get you there that you know I can ease the pain of these swords and you are and I do believe this is you I you are no no not only now are you getting these seven swords I'm adding three more because of this this behavior is not acceptable so alas that is what I see happening for you this is just for the next two weeks um, so you know not a tragedy just kind of a warning to watch out for this and um, I will be back uh, end of June early July with another storyline type of a reading for you take care bye bye